Well, a new weapon could help fight insect-borne illnesses as cases have been rising across the country in recent years. CBS 2's Michelle Medina has more now on the natural ingredient being developed to repel ticks and mosquitoes. Mosquitoes and ticks are not just a nuisance. They can transmit life-threatening diseases. Now, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has discovered and developed a new active ingredient to be used in insect repellents and insecticides. Insecticide resistance, of course, is a problem that we have to constantly tackle. And so when we use different things and they become less and less effective, we need to come up with novel ways of, of doing so. And this is something that helps us to do that. Nutcatone is a naturally occurring substance found in cedar trees and grapefruit skin. It's responsible for the smell and taste of grapefruit, and it's currently used to make fragrances. Research shows it may protect from bites as well as products that are currently available. Diseases spread by mosquitoes and ticks, including West Nile virus and Lyme disease, are an increasing health threat. Experts are especially concerned with so many of us spending more time outdoors because of the pandemic. We're moving all of our events outside, and, and people are being more active outdoors as well. They're going to have more mosquito exposure. They're going to have more tick exposure. And so there's a lot of things that we need to do to prepare people and, and help to protect them as well. Dr. Christy Murray is with Baylor College of Medicine. She says to prevent bites, choose an EPA-registered insect repellent with one of these active ingredients. And also, wear long sleeve shirts and long pants, and do not spray repellent under clothes. Nishal Medina, CBS News, Fountain Valley, California. If you need to apply sunscreen and insect repellent, experts recommend you apply the sunscreen first and then the repellent. Didn't know that. Long sleeves, though, helps. It does. And a hat or a net, and whatever. Pants. <laughs> yes. pants and a bubble. Just, just cover up top to bottom. It's not <laughs> safe to do anything these days. All right, that's going to do it.